Hi, do you have a Cummins 5.9 or 6.7 diesel that you're putting a set of head studs in? Well, you're going to need to make some clearance on that lower rocker box. Today, we're going to show you how to do that. One of the guys at work is putting a head stud kit in a 6.7 Cummins uh, diesel engine. And uh, this head stud kit, it's an aftermarket thing. So what they also say in the directions of this aftermarket kit is that a certain amount of material has to be milled away from the lower rocker box cover. It's especially, or basically right in this little area here. And uh, the, by the pictures they have, they don't really give a template or specific dimensions or whatever. But judging by the pictures, it looks like it'd be probably about using a 7 8 or a 1 inch end mill uh, most to cut most of the way out to that edge there. I don't have a 7 8 or a 1 inch, um, not yet anyway, but I do have a 3 quarter. So we got the uh, rocker box cover uh, set up on the mill on a couple, uh, well, <laughs> I hesitate to call them parallels, but they'll be parallel enough for our purpose here. And so, got 3 quarter inch end mill in, make sure we're clearing everything. WD-40 makes an excellent, excellent cutting fluid for aluminum. Nice and slow. Okay, we're through. And so, right there, that's actually pretty close to where we need to be. We just need to take a little bit more off the outside edge. So what we're going to do, because we don't want to climb mill, axis and a little bit with the y axis and now back on the x getting out see where we're at getting close to what it was looking like in the picture because in the uh, in the head stud kit there is a set of instructions and it gives you a bit of a picture of what it's supposed to look like.
cable on both the X and Y axes at a time. There we go. Ready to ready to take back to work and he can install it tomorrow. So as far as I'm concerned, that actually didn't come out too bad, considering the fact that I was freehanding part of it. Uh, at some point, as I say, I'd like to get a one inch end mill and then I could just do one simple plunge and call it good. Now the nut can poke up into that little area there and it's not gonna interfere. So I can take this in in the morning, he can get his truck reassembled and it's out the door. Well, I hope you found that useful. Um, again, it's not a very complex procedure, just a little bit of uh, little bit of milling. If you have a one inch end mill, you can pretty much just plunge cut it, but uh, you can do it with a three quarter inch as well. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. See you next week.